What do you see when you look at your organization? Employees stepping up and taking responsibility? Or employees playing the blame game and pointing fingers at others? So how do you stop the blame game and start getting accountability? Stay tuned. Welcome to this episode of Making Performance Matter, Translate Strategy into Action, with your host, Cindy Allen Stuckey. One of the questions I often hear from leaders is, how do we build a culture of accountability in our organization? First, I want to define accountability. It's to personally take ownership or accept responsibility for one's actions, work, and results. It's not assigning fault and meeting out punishment, but instead it's propelling your employees to great success. Have you really thought about where this starts? It starts with you, the leader. If you genuinely want your employees to take ownership, then you must take ownership first. Now, believe it or not, accountability lies within each one of us. As leaders, you have the opportunity to help others unleash it by rewarding behaviors to demonstrate accountability and removing anything that stifles it. How, as a leader, do you lead so that personal accountability is accepted and embraced? Today in my video series, Great Leaders' Secrets No One Talks About, I'm going to give you three steps so you can start creating even more accountability in your organization. Step number one, people have to see it. You as a leader have to be a role model. If your employees see you making excuses and shifting blame when you fail, they will follow suit. Instead, focus on fixing problems. Admit when you're wrong. Share with your team what you learned from your mistakes and what you will do to ensure it doesn't happen again. Step number two, people have to own it. A leader helps others to be personally invested in desiring the organization's outcomes or results. It's done by linking their spe specific tasks and responsibilities first with the key priorities of the team, then with the department or division, and finally up the line to the organization. Step number four, People have to solve it. Obstacles can always get in the way of achieving results. Yes, as a leader, the buck does stop with you. However, you don't always need to be the one to find the solution. When employees ask for a solution, don't immediately offer one. Instead, ask them, what do you think we should do? Or, what else can we do so this gets resolved? Tapping into their wisdom and participation creates personal responsibility for the implementation of the solution. The bottom line is that no organization can grow and prosper until the leaders are willing to step up and take responsibility. I invite you to go to my website for more tips on leadership. Thank you for watching Making Performance Matter Translate Strategy into Action. For more great information, visit makingperformancematter.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.